So what Bremen's really all about, we came from this desire to build a watch, really in simple terms, you could wear in the boardroom or at Mount Everest, but something which is very classically styled, very British in its look. So the big part of our watches are, how do you really test those? You can test them in a workshop environment, um, but we really wanted to do more of that. And we we're quite lucky, we knew some quite interesting guys at the time. And it was about giving these guys these watches and really analysing how those watches turned out um, when they brought them back. It was really a sort of carte blanche to go and properly test these watches, push them, don't look after them. Um, and we learnt a lot. It's a little bit chillier. Thank goodness I can still tell the time on my MV2. Wanted to make sure that anyone who wore the watch could be safely assured that this watch had been through a number of tests. And actually this testing took place all around the world. And that, I guess, started with Jake, Jake Mayer, uh, back in 2005, six, when he um, took the watches and took them to some very extreme places. Other interesting climbers would have included Kenton. Kenton, who's a bit of a legend in the, in the whole industry, climbed Everest 12 times. A few of those times, again, with his Bremel watch, but he's really helped us uh, understand more about the watches and cold climates and you know, what oils to use and polar exploration has become a big part of the brand as well with with Ben who's arguably one of the the greatest living polar explorers um, one of the last guys to solo the North Pole in 2005 but also the likes of Alex Gregory who double Olympian um, who pushes the, the boundaries of what's possible in terms of endurance every, every day for, for many, many years. So we're working with some very, very exciting people in that respect. So we had Hugh McGregor and Charlie Borman on the long way down for a number of months. These watches strapped to their wrists going through Europe and Africa, Bear, Bear Grylls on his wrist through the jungles and the deserts and other extreme climates. So actually by the time we got to the launch date, which was ticking ever closer in July 2007, we were so, so happy with the fact that these watches could go through most things. Thank you.